the Lacey Buchanan didn't plan on making a viral video. In fact, she didn't even have a YouTube account at the time. So when Lacey hit the record button on her phone, she didn't really know what to expect. All she wanted to do was tell people about her beautiful son. An ultrasound halfway through Lacey Buchanan's pregnancy showed her unborn son, Christian, with a cleft palate. For the next several months, Lacey and her husband, Chris, remained hopeful about the birth of their son. But in the delivery room, Lacey and Chris were shocked to see Christian's cleft so severe that his eyes didn't form, leaving him blind. In her book, Through the Eyes of Hope, Lacey tells the story of how their lives took a dramatic turn with Christian's birth and how God turned their tragic situation into something beautiful. Lacey is here with us now, and we welcome you to the 700 Club. Hi, thank you. You and Chris, your husband, were Christians. This is your first baby. You're excited, and you're praying through this pregnancy. You did know, because of an ultrasound, that there were going to be some issues for Christian yes. when he was born, but you really had no idea the depth of them. Mm -hmm. What was that pregnancy like for you as you waited for the baby to be delivered? There was a lot of nerves during my pregnancy, um, but overall I enjoyed it. It was, um, it's such a special thing to carry a child. Yes, and so I really enjoyed that special time. Um, but there were, there were some scares. It was, it was scary to not know what was going to sure. happen. Well, you say in the book that at the point that the baby was born, of course they whisked him away. And Chris went over to look at him and he came back to you and you said, tell me it isn't bad. And he said, it's worse. Mm -hmm. What was that time like for you? Because not just for you, but for your husband. I mean, where do you go as people of faith with the fact that you've prayed and prayed and asked God to, to contend with this condition of your baby? Where do you go with that spiritually, Lacey? The time was a little bit unreal almost. Um, it was a time of mourning and grieving because we had lost something, mm -hmm. um, but we had to learn to um, grieve that loss and, and, and move forward. Your accounts of what your son had to go through in pain and procedures are gut-wrenching in the book. I just can't imagine as a mom having to stand by and watch that. But God used that in your life. You really toughened up through all <laughs> yes. of that. Talk about that process. Yes. Um, Christian has taught me um, to go from a mouse to a mama bear, I call it. <laughs> I have learned to really be a voice and stand up and advocate um, and, and not just stand back and be so timid. You know, that's been helpful to Christian too, I'm sure, because to be too overprotective is to not let him fly and be who God created him to be. But God had to teach you that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. There's a balance. Yeah, and so now, you know, one of the things that I know you've contended with over the years, you said it was a a blessing to leave the ICU and go with your baby, the NICU, and go home and bring your baby home. But at the same time, in the ICU, people were not staring at him. They weren't gawking at him. They weren't calling names or looking at you like you had done something terrible by giving birth to a child with special needs. How did you adapt to the public response to a little boy who had severe facial needs? I had really no choice but to adapt. I, I did have two choices, to let it hurt me or to learn from it and, and grow from it. And so I chose to grow from it because I wanted to be an example for Christian to follow because one day when he's older, he will hear the comments that I have heard and I want him to know how to deal with them appropriately and to know that who he is is not defined by those negative comments. You know, a mother's heart is so... Um touched by her child. I mean, there's a bond and a love there that is almost difficult to explain to someone who hasn't, you know, experienced that. You must have felt so many different emotions as people reacted to this little boy that you adore. How did you handle that? Uh, at first it was painful. It stung to hear negative comments because I saw a beautiful child and it was, um, I guess I was naive to the fact that other people would look at him and not see the same thing. Um, but I decided that I would react gracefully um, and, and teach people and educate them because mm -hmm. getting upset with them was going to drive them away and that's not what I wanted. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted Christian to be accepted for who he is and I felt the best way to do that was to give that acceptance and to give that grace. Thus the video. Mm -hmm. How did that come to be? Well, um, I had some negative comments um, online 
Um, and they were very painful. They were some of the most cruel. hurtful. Very really cruel. cruel. Very cruel. And they were some of the most hurtful comments I'd heard. And um, and I just thought, man, I need to do something. I, I need to tell our story. And so I, I uh, just had the idea, God-inspired idea, to, to make this video and, and to share our story with the world to really explain to people who Christian is. Mm -hmm. And what reaction did you get? I know you were shocked. <laughs> yes, an unexpected reaction for sure was, yeah. um, was, was what we got. It, um, it just blew up quickly within uh, days. Um, around the world. Uh, around the world, yes. So much so that I couldn't even keep up with it. Yeah. I, I want our audience to meet Christian because yes. he's such a special guy. So Chris, will you come in and bring Christian with you? And I know he's probably wanting his mom <laughs> for a few minutes anyway. Christian, welcome. It's so nice to have you Hi, here. Bud. Can you say hello? Hi, hello. bud. I hear you are a lover of superheroes. Yes. Superman. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Is that? Who's your favorite one? Do you like Superman? Yeah. yeah. And Batman? <laughs> yeah. And Spider-Man and all those good guys? I understand he also plays piano. He does. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, one of the things you outlined in the book that I think was so um, enlightening is when you have a child with special needs, how that dictates your day, your schedule, your focus. I mean, in the middle of all of this, you earn a law degree, girl. <laughs> you are like super mom. <laughs> but tell me what you want people to take away from the book, through the eyes of hope, but also having the video available for people to see and just even being here today expressing your thoughts. What do you want people to take away from your story? I want people to know that Christian and, and other kids like him are human beings first. Yes. They are people. Mm -hmm. um, and his disability is a part of him, but it doesn't define him. No. God defines him just like he defines me and you. Um, and I also want people to know that, that they can trust God through the difficult circumstances. And no matter what the struggle is, God is big enough to handle it, and He yeah. will. And He's always working things together for And in your own good. faith, you saw that. Yes. that it, though there were no, question, no answers to the question why, there was faith. strength and courage and faith for the hour. Yes. Yes, yeah. exactly. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you are, I have a plaque in my house that I love that says boys are just superheroes in disguise right. and you certainly are That's one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to have you both with Thank us. You. I want you to know you can learn more about the Buchanan story, which is amazing, by getting Lacey's book. It's called Through the Eyes of Hope. It's available in stores nationwide. And Lacey and Christian, thank you for being with us. You know, on the heels of the news story that we just heard about the special needs person who was just put upon by people who didn't understand. We all need to understand to see the priceless gift of beauty in every human being. Great to have you. Thank you.